Good morning, everybody. Uh, reminder of the value of a good cup of coffee. Uh, helps you speak clearer in the morning. Uh, yeah, I had to restart the video in case, you know, you're wondering what I'm talking about. I had started doing my video and had the first sip and uh, I kept slurring my words and going back over and I was like, oh, just restart the video. Have a sip. Slow down. Focus on what I'm doing. Be mindful. Ah, and there's my topic for today. Being mindful. A lot of people can buy into the idea of, oh, yes, you know, I heard about that mindfulness and, you know, that'll, yeah, there's a good health benefit there. And, you know, it helps you with your, you know, meditation and they have all these thoughts about what mindfulness is. And, oh, yeah, it's great because, you know, I, I heard you can, you know, you do that and it'll calm you down. There are a lot of people who don't see any value in being mindful, being able to pay attention to what's around them, you know, open up their mind and see what's happening uh, be present to what's going on. So I'll give you some things for those people that are not yet convinced of the value of being mindful. Uh, one, you're throwing money away. Literally, just throwing it right out the door, gone. I used to work for a place and the guy there, he said something that stuck in my head. Uh, he said, isn't it interesting? He said, the people at the top are so busy reaching down on the floor, picking up pennies while dollars are flying out the window. And I very quickly understood what he meant, that they were so focused, hyper-focused on one thing and not mindful to everything around them, they weren't paying attention to opportunities that were popping up before them. This is one of the things mindfulness does for you. It opens up opportunities. A lot of times tell me, uh, a lot of times people tell me, there we go again, be mindful text. A lot of times people tell me that they lost an opportunity or they'll be mad because they, they say they didn't get an opportunity and someone else will say, well, it was right there knocking on your door. You didn't open and answer it. In other words, if you're not paying attention to what's going on around you, if you're not open to what's happening, you miss opportunities. Now, example this morning, I uh, purchased an item, service, somebody made an item, gave it to me, and on the register, there's an opportunity for that person to flip it over and allow me to tip them. They were so unfocused on what they was doing and sort of focused on talking to the person next to them, they weren't mindful of their job. And they totaled it out, and I'm standing there waiting for them to flip the device so that I can give them a tip. And they're like, oh, did you want something else? And I'm like, yeah, I wanted to tip you. Oh, I already closed that out. They weren't paying attention to what they was doing. They weren't mindful of the present. There were clues. I'm standing there with my hand up, ready to touch the buttons. Obviously, that meant something, unless you think I'm a statue. Um... They literally lost money, literally like they reached in their pocket and said, oh, here, I've got some cash. Oh, I don't want that. Where's the trash can? Throw that in there. And so business opportunities are just one area where being mindful of what is going on in yourself and your, your surroundings in the present moment allows you to see things and take advantage of opportunities that are given to you. When someone gives you an opportunity and you don't even look at it, sometimes that can even be taken as an insult. Uh, if you're mindful, then you notice solutions to problems a lot quicker because you're mindful to everything around you and your mind's open. So here's an opportunity to do something that you wouldn't have done otherwise to fix a problem in a way you wouldn't have been able to fix it otherwise and you chucked it out the door. When you're talking, and, and so here's here's another area that might have some value to you, uh, relationships. Would you like to keep the one you got? Would you like to quit stepping on toes of your friends? 
See, being mindful of what's going on means not only knowing what you're saying and what's coming out of your mouth, being mindful to the reactions of those around you. This means that if you say something and you're not understood, by being mindful, you can see the other person isn't reacting the way you expect, which should give you the clue to pull back and go, they didn't take that the way I meant it. They didn't, they didn't understand it the way I wanted it to be understood. Now that, that's a whole nother talk in communications, but being mindful allows you to go, something's derailed in our conversation. What I meant was a joke wasn't taken as a joke. What I meant as a compliment wasn't taken as a compliment. And by being mindful, you missed an opportunity to go, oh, and clarify that. Oh, ask someone else how they're feeling. For all those people that are looking for a relationship, for a relationship the subtle clues that people might be interested in talking to you are out there. If you're not mindful and you close that down, then you miss those opportunities. When somebody looks at you for a second, you know, trying, you can see they're trying to think of something to say and you miss the moment. And then they think, Oh, you're not paying attention to me. They may take it personally. It wasn't personal, but they felt it was personal. And so now they're gone. You missed your shot. So I hope this gives you a quick little idea of some of the things that you miss that mindfulness can give you that for those that are having difficulty with finding value in the things people have said about mindfulness before, maybe this will hit home for you. You're throwing your money away. You're throwing your opportunities away. You're throwing relationships away when you don't have to. People are literally throwing money at you. People are literally trying to talk to you. They're making an effort to be a part of your world. And because the mindfulness isn't there with you, you're missing all those opportunities. So maybe now you can start to think, hmm, there may be some values in mindfulness. And hopefully you go, well, you know, you're, you're there for the, for the money. And eventually you're there because you realize all the other benefits that are in this. You're there for the relationship building, and then you realize there's other benefits that go with this. And if you don't, you don't, but at least you got that part. So for your own sake, please reconsider mindfulness. Y'all have a great day. Thank you. Oh, and namaste. No